In this tutorial I will show you how to make images look sharp by using unsharp mask. The unsharp mask is an old technique that was used in the darkrooms long before we got computers. The unsharp mask makes the image appear sharper. The unsharp mask will increase the perceived sharpness of an image by increasing the contrast of pixels next to each other. It does so by making darker pixels a bit darker and brighter pixels a bit brighter. There are three parameters. Radius threshold and sharpen factor usually called amount. Let's start with radius. The radius parameter determines how large area around each pixel that will be analyzed when performing the calculations. An already sharp image should have a lower radius. A softer image requires a higher radius. The threshold parameter will prevent the filter from having any effect unless the difference between pixels is large enough. Put another way, you can exclude low contrast edges from the sharpening by increasing the threshold. The sharpen factor parameter will control how much darker or brighter the pixels will be made. The amount control in Picture Window Pro lets you control how much of the unsharp mask transformation is applied to the input image. You can apply a percentage of the transformation to the entire image, or you can specify an amount control to restrict the effects of the transformation to only part of the input image. Halo Limit This double slider is useful for controlling light or dark halos that often occur around distinct edges. Each time you want to see the sharpening result on the input image, you have to press the red preview button. Difference button is located next to preview button. Clicking the difference button causes the preview to display the difference between the original image and the preview image. Differences are exaggerated by a factor of 2 to make them more apparent. Sharpen Luminance Only This toggles the Sharpen Luminance Only setting. If the menu item is checked, just the brightness information, luminance, is sharpened, while color information, chrominance, in the input image is preserved. This can be useful, for example, when sharpening areas with color noise without amplifying the noise, but generally the difference is very subtle. If you like this tutorial then subscribe to new tutorials.